Hi viewers, welcome to Prince Alex YouTube channel. In this video, I am discussing problems from the question paper of quantitative techniques for business. This is a question paper of MG University BCom semester 3. Question number 5 is, calculate the average height of 5 students, 155, 148, 167, 172, 125. We can find the arithmetic average or mean by adding all the observation divided by number of observation. The final answer is 153.4. Calculate median of 27, 18, 25, 32 and 40. Median we can find by arranging the data in ascending or descending order. And the middle term A is the median. Therefore, median is equal to 27. Question number 7. Calculate the mode of the following numbers. The numbers are given. Mode is equal to the number which are occurring maximum number of times. Here we can see 10 and 15 are repeating 4 times. Therefore, we cannot divide mode directly. Therefore, we have to find the mode by the empirical formula. The empirical formula is mode is equal to 3 into median minus 2 mean. We have to find the mean and median. Mean is equal to 12.4 and the median is equal to 12. After that, find the mode using the empirical formula. The answer is 11.6. Calculate mean deviation of 3, 8, 9 and 12. Mean deviation is equal to sigma modulus of x minus x bar divided by n. X bar is equal to mean. Mean is equal to sum of the observation divided by total number of observation. Therefore, the answer is 8. Then mean deviation we are forming by X minus X bar. X bar is equal to 8. The second column we got. After that, find the modulus of 8 and find the sum of all numbers. It will be 10. Then the mean deviation is equal to 10 by 4 is equal to 2.5. Compute standard deviation of the data. We can take the data as a x. Standard deviation formula is equal to sigma x squared by n minus sigma x by n the whole squared. First we have to write the x. After that next column is say x squared. Adding all the numbers using the formula we will get the answer 28.96. Question number 16. The following table gives weekly wages in rupees of workers in a certain commercial organization. The frequency of the class interval 49 to 52 is missing. It is known that the mean of the above frequency distribution is 47.2. Weekly wages 42, 43, 43 to 46, 46 to 49, 52 to 55 and the number of workers are also given but 49 to 52 number of workers is not given we have to find that one for finding mean we have to make a, a table first column is class next one is a frequency adding all the frequencies 176 plus a f x a is middle class mid value of class last column f into x and adding all the fx 8162 plus 50.5 x for finding mean we can use a any formula i am using the formula mean is equal to fx by n substituting each value for sigma fx n and mean mean is given in the question that is 47.2 and all values substituting Cross multiplying, simplifying, we will get a f is equal to 44. Therefore, the missing frequency is 44. Locate median graphically. In the question, marks and the number of students are given. We have to find median graphically. For finding median graphically, we have to make the columns fourth and the fifth one. That is cumulative frequencies. After finding the cumulative frequency, we have to plot marks on the x-axis and the number of students on the y-axis. Corresponding to each point, we have to plot. First one is corresponding to 0, we have to put 0. Next one corresponding to 10, we have to plot 4. Like that, we will get a less than 
and more than we will get by plotting 59 on the top and coming 55 47 joining the graph using a curve the point of intersection is median from the point of intersection we are drawing a perpendicular to the x -axis. the perpendicular to the x axis is meeting at 34 therefore the median is 34 next five more question from part b is question number 19 distinguish between mean deviation and standard deviation question number 20 calculate carl person coefficient of skewness from the following the data are given classes are given frequencies are given the formula for finding carl person coefficient of skewness is mean minus mod divided by standard deviation so we have to find mean, mode and standard deviation. For finding all these, we have to make a table like this. By calculation, mean is equal to 147.2, mode equal to 146.68, standard deviation is equal to 6.65 and carl Parson coefficient of skewness is equal to 0 0.0766 How many students have obtained marks between 40 and 50? Apply interpolation. We have to make a table for finding this one. Forward defense table we have to make 31, 42, 9, minus 25 and 37 are, are using for calculation. Firstly, we have to find the value of a x. x is equal to 45 minus 40 divided by 10. The answer is 0 0.5. Then Newton's formula we are writing. Calculating each value and solving, we will get the answer as 47.867. Since it is the number of students, therefore we are rounding it as 48. Number of students obtain marks between 40 and 45 is equal to the 48 minus 31 it is 17 from part c we have to answer any two questions there are four questions in total each question carries 15 marks first question from part c is calculate the mode of the following marks above is given number of students is given that means the number of students who got more than zero is 122 students. For calculating mod, we are using the formula 3 median minus 2 mean is equal to mod. We have to make a, a table for finding all this. First column is class. The class is 0 to 10, 10 to 20, etc. Frequencies are 122 minus... 118 4 118 minus 112 6 like that we are making the frequency next column is mid value of the class second one last one is f into x and the last one is the cumulative frequency finding the sum of frequency that is 122 f into x sum is 4820 mean is equal to 39.51 median is equal to 39.69 then mode is equal to 3 into median minus 2 mean the final answer is 40.05 calculate the coefficient of variance from the following data class is given frequency is given Class is 90 to 99, 80 to 89. There we can see the gap there. We have to transfer the inclusive series to exclusive series. For that purpose, we have to make a, a table. Class is given. Next column is X. That is the mid value of X. Frequency is given. D is there. Then uh, D square we are finding. 3 into 3 9, 2 into 2 4, 4. Next column is FD, that means the product of F and D. Last column is F into D square. 
finding the sum of all frequencies that is 75 f into d sum is 27 f into d square sum is 127 coefficient of variance is equal to standard deviation divided by mean into 100 mean is equal to 68.1 and standard deviation is 12.49 coefficient of variance is equal to standard deviation into 100 divided by mean the final answer is 18.34 since it is a percentage we can say that 18.34 percentage last question is calculate the standard deviation for the distribution the distribution is 130 to 150 150 to 170 170 to 190 190 to 210 210 to 230 frequencies are given 8 26 59 43 and 140 the sum of frequency is 150 and mid value of ax we are taking and D is taking and FD is taking the sum of FD is equal to 29 D square we are finding F into D square we are finding the sum is 157 formula for finding standard deviation is equal to square root of sigma D squared by n minus sigma FD by n the whole square root into class interval on calculation, we will get the answer as 20.092. Hi, my dear students. Thank you for watching my channel. Please share the video for your friends. Write comment on comment box. Thank you for watching.